reason I cannot get the words out to intro this video, so I'm just going to say hi. Hi. Um, I hope you're doing well today. And I have a bunch of stuff sitting in front of me that I want to show you that I've been loving the past few months. Um, and I haven't done like a favorites video in a minute. And I don't know exactly what I'm going to call this. A favorites, what I'm loving, just like things I'm obsessed with. And that's kind of what I'm going through today because I have, like, like I said, quite a few things. And I just kind of compiled them over the months and like put them in my brain. And, like I want to talk about these in a video um, because they're just things that like make my life easier, make my life better. Uh, I have beauty, skincare, and like makeup and stuff, and then some fashion things. So yeah, let's get into it. I'm gonna maybe start with the fashion stuff because you know that's mostly what I talk about on this channel, and just in general, I have not too many fashion things actually. You would think I would have more. I probably could have found more, but I didn't want to like overhaul you because you guys know me if you watch my channel. I say I'm obsessed with everything and love everything because I do. So I had to really narrow it down to my favorites that I've been really like loving the past few months. So. Anyway, anyway, we're gonna do the first one being overalls. I have this pair of overalls here and they're vintage. If you guys watched my last thrift with me, I hit the freaking jackpot <laughs> with overalls. And this would be my favorite pair. I think it's because it, they're like the long ones. The other ones are all shorts, um, which I love as well. They're just vintage light blue denim overalls and just overalls in general. I feel like I've been really liking lately because it's effortless, you don't have to think about it, you know, you just throw it on, throw a t-shirt on under it. If it's colder, you can throw a long sleeve, you can throw a hoodie on under it, like you can just throw anything under overalls, wear them with anything, sneakers, uh, sandals, heels if you want, you know? That's what I love most about them. I am just been in an effortless mood. I just wanna grab something that'll make me feel cute. And they definitely do that. So I highly recommend finding yourself a good pair of overalls. Um, like I said, I hit the jackpot on my last thrift haul, but you, so you can thrift them and stuff. Um, and then I know Depop, eBay, and Poshmark all have a lot because I've been looking at those. Um, but I just am obsessed with them. They're so comfortable too because you don't have to worry about pulling your pants up. You don't have to worry about uh, doing anything else. I don't know. They're nice and easy and breezy and I've just been loving those. So that was my favorite pair that I wanted to show you guys. Next I have shoes because I am a shoeaholic. I love shoes. And for me in this season of life, I have been obsessed with slides of all kinds, just like slip on shoes. Like I'm a sneaker girl by heart, like I love my sneakers, but I always gravitate towards the shoes that I can just slip on and go because maybe I'm always in a rush or just like in general, I don't know. Um, but there are my two favorite sandals right now. These are my Subies, my orange Subies. I picked orange because I thought it was fun for summer and just spring in general. And these are the ones that have like the little side cut out in the middle and then the other side is, um, solid but yeah they're very comfortable they're a nickname i think the pillow slides or something and everyone has been talking about them and i can see why they are very comfortable and they are kind of like i would say a dupe for yeezy slides in a way like not stylized way but like comfort um they feel very very similar to these because these you know have a lot of cushion in them as well if you can see that um so i love both of those for comfort reasons you know we love arch support i don't know if these give you arch support but it definitely feels like it because my feet are always very comfortable both of these do take a little bit to break in for me i don't know if that's just me but um still very comfy and i love them and then another another pair of slides that i have like well they're like slip-ons i guess technically are my birkenstocks I think they're the Birkenstock Bostons, and I found these ones on Poshmark for $25, and they're originally like $140 or $150, so I'm fine with wearing pre-owned shoes. If you're not, I'm sure you can find new ones on Poshmark as well, um, but for $25, I mean, they, they look more worn because I've been wearing them for the past like two months, and I take the dog out in them and stuff, so it has grass all over it, but they didn't come looking like this. They looked a lot better. Um, still, like barely used, and all of the Birkenstocks that I have ever worn, you can literally wear forever, and they last so nicely, and they just get like more comfortable with wear, in my opinion, um, and so I love the Birkenstock clogs, though, because they're easy to slip on, and they're just super cute um next are hats i've been a hat person my entire life because i hate doing my hair i hate it so much i i don't know what it is i've always hated doing my hair i i don't know um but hats are just like a lifesaver in that <laughs> moment of not wanting to do your hair or just like when you're having a bad hair day or just to make an outfit like a little bit more casual and cute. I think hats are such a fun accessory um, because you can have so many different colors that add a pop of color, so many different kinds of hats as well. Um, so I'm gonna show you a few of my favorites. So obviously we love like a baseball hat. Uh, these are my two 
but these are like my two go-to ones lately um jared got me this one for my birthday and then this one boy i think I, my mom or something got me on a ski trip or something from michigan and i think it's super cute because it has like the um leather backing on it and yeah i just love them and i think finding a nice fitted to your head a baseball hat is that what they're called baseball hat dad hats i don't know baseball caps are such a good such a good thing to have in your closet like i said i think it looks so classic whenever you're wearing like a coat with a little baseball hat on with some boots or just some sneakers it's like effortlessly classy vibes i don't know how to explain it other than that because it's like casual but still very cute like i already said that i'm gonna repeat myself that's my issue um next are these two hats so these are different i've been loving bucket hats in general this one has been i don't want to get makeup on it but i have been loving this because it blocks out all of the sun from my face and i am on a sun no-no kick because um i guess within the past like year or two i've been getting really into spf and skincare and stuff so i'm like i don't want any sun on my face and this is like the perfect hat for that and I just think it's so cute. I got it from Urban Outfitters. Um, I, I don't know if, I got it in store and I couldn't find it online, but if I can find one or similar, I'll link it. Um, but I just think it's so cute. And also I love, of course, the quilting pattern. I think it's so beautiful um, and fun. And I love the pastels as well. And I think this will go with a lot this summer. I just feel like a cute little gardener in it. Um, yeah, very comfortable too. And I have a big head, so Urban Outfitters. They did well on this one. I really like this. And this hat was an Amazon find. I saw someone, I was watching an Instagram live of something, I don't remember, some class, and the one of the people being interviewed had this color hat on, probably not from Amazon, but I searched and searched through everywhere and I couldn't find one and I finally found one on Amazon. I think it was like $12. And I love beanies. I don't know ever how to wear them correctly with my hair for some reason. So I'm so I just like do it and I don't even care. Um, that's not how it's supposed to look. Sorry. I should probably like judge it up. They're really good like pop of color uh, and they have a bunch of different colors on the listing so i want to order a pink one too because i've actually gotten a lot of wear out of this even in the springtime whenever it's raining and stuff and like i said i just think it adds a pop of color when i'm feeling a little bit corkier I'll, I'll like throw on these with a pair of funky glasses and like different colors just like spill color all over me and it makes me really happy so yeah love it speaking of funky glasses next are funky glasses so i have found a newfound have found have a newfound obsession with funky glasses forgot who i saw wearing them one day and it just like changed everything for me i don't know it was some celebrity that always wears funky glasses and i can't think of her name but i went and i googled and i kept googling like funky glasses and i really searched through a lot because i used to get my glasses on iBuy direct and i love them too and they do have funky glasses but i was like looking for like a step up of the funky and these have done it for me these are from zlul um i believe and i think i paid like 30 to 40 dollars for each one or each pair and i just think they're so fun i know they're not for everyone i get that but they kind of give me like like funky older woman in fashion vibes and i kind of like live for that so yeah these are my first pair they're green i had to get a green pair because you know green's my favorite color and then blue is my second favorite color um so i had to get these i think these ones are my favorite because i wear them the most i don't know if they go with the most or just like they're like a good mixture of like funk with still like wearability i don't know and these this is my third favorite color checkered no but it's my favorite pattern and these ones are so fun and like cool to me i've never seen a pair of glasses like this um so yeah and the, as you can see it has the blue light blockers in it because i'm on my computer all day working and i kept getting migraines and i'm like you know what i just need to try them out everyone says that they help and they really do help my eyes feel better and my head because i'm again i get migraines from the screen and stuff and after wearing them i swear to you i don't so i have to force myself to remember to wear them um but i love them and then i have this pair as well if i can link them down below i will because every time i wear them you guys seem to like them these ones are really nice because they're kind of low-key but still really fun um because they have like that nice tata shape but then they're like textured if you can see that very fun i love them so much and like i said i love that they're in different colors it adds a nice pop of color and yeah last in my fashion category i believe are tote bags so here are my top three tote bags that i've been loving um so first would be this donny one it's kind of a little bit dirty because i have two of them um i believe if you order from them they give you them for free and they are just so nice 
And I love the shape of this one just because I, I don't know, it's kind of different for a tote bag. But the reason I love tote bags so much is I feel like it's, again, effortless. And I feel like that's what I'm gravitating more towards. Things that feel very easy to put with an outfit and you don't have to think too much about it you can just grab one and you will know that you know you look cute and i think that's what these do for me i don't know and you can hold literally everything in them so love that as well so that was one and then this is a newer one that jared got me again for my birthday and i think he said he got it at urban outfitters but it's super cute farmer's market um old town pasadena california you can find them everywhere that's another thing and they're very inexpensive and look so chic they look parisian they look european to me i don't know um and I think this is like my all-time favorite one by public goods um i love this one because it has a pocket on the side so i love to stick my key in there and then it also has pockets on the inside if you can see that so it's like not a regular tote bag it's like a purse tote bag and i think that that's so nice so i always put all of my um podcasting stuff in here actually my second public goods tote i had one I want to say a while ago and I lost it and I don't know where it went, um, but I'm so glad that I have another one. Because like I said, you know, usually tote bags don't have these things and so you can literally just throw your cards in it. I, it's really nice for the beach too. I used to take it to the beach all the time because you can just put your keys in here and you don't have to worry about it, um, you know, being lost. And yeah, so, and it also closes and has a little clasp too. So very cute. Next, I'm going to do beauty. So I'm going to do hair because I have one hair thing and seeing as so I just told you, seeing as so, seeing that I just told you that I hate doing my hair, it's true. And this thing has actually helped me so much. I know you guys have probably seen it. I've seen it everywhere. It's the Revlon um, One Step I, Hair Dryer. I don't, I don't know the exact name. I'll link it down below, but it's so good. Good. It's so good to me. I went back to it. So I used to use this, I think about, I got it like two years ago, I want to say. And I liked it at first. I used it for a while. And then I thought I started seeing breakage in my hair. And I thought it was because of this, because there's no like temperature dial really. It's like an off, cool, low and high setting. Um, and all of the settings are very hot. So I thought that's what it was. I think I was just overusing it, but now I have like a hair routine um, and where I do it once a week and then I'll just touch it up like once or twice a week with this or my regular hair dryer. Um, but the reason I love it so much is because I don't want to spend a lot of time on my hair. It's just so easy to just run through it and like give you that nice blow out at home. I don't know. I never could get it before. Um, for some reason, no matter what brush I use, no matter what hair dryer I use, I could never get like the volume that I wanted or just like it to stay. So maybe that's what it is, is that it's hot and it's supposed to be really hot. And maybe that's what helps. So I cut my little bangs. I actually went back to it because I was like, you know, this might help me style my bangs and it has. So I love that for this. Normally what I've been going for is like the Jennifer Aniston vibe, like nineties hair. I don't know. Jennifer Aniston, like friends era, her hair is what one I've been going for. And oh yeah, this really helps me do that. So Okay, next I have a few things for skincare because I am skincare obsessed. I love skincare and I've been getting way more into it again lately. I go like in phases of skincare, but right now I'm in like a I'm obsessed with it phase. And, and for reference, I have very, very dry skin. So that's what kind of like reignited my obsession with skincare is I was trying to figure out what happened to my skin and why it's so dry and sensitive. And then I found out, I think it was a skin barrier problem. Like, I ruined or something my moisture barrier something like that I don't know but um, one of the things my first thing was actually recommended from a video that I watched after trying to like figure that out and it was on TikTok by um, I want to say her at is at the right glow I'll put it here um, but I think she was talking about like repairing her moisture or skin barrier or something whatever it's called and she recommended a few products in the video and kind of like went into what she uses and like how it's helped and stuff and this was one of them and this well, that wasn't the first time I saw this so this is by cause rx it's the advanced snail 96 mucin power essence it has changed my skin I use it every day I don't know if you're supposed to use it every day but I use it every day for like the past month I want to say probably I've had it and I've only used that much because you only need a little bit and you just like pat it on your skin and it's really helped just like give my skin a glow back and like really repair it and this essence helps the skin to lose less moisture while keeping the skin smooth and healthy so yeah I love this so much and I highly recommend it I ordered this on iHerb I believe iHerb.com and I've never heard of them before but I googled this when I was looking for it and that came up and it was I think like five to ten dollars cheaper on there and I was like okay and so I went on their website and I got a few more other things too and I'm high and I highly recommend checking them out because I think they have like 
deals on there. I don't know what it is or anything, um, but I really like the website. So yeah, that's where I found this for a little bit cheaper than I think that they have it on Ulta.com and the Cosrx website. Um, and I want to try more of their products because they seem to have like a lot of fun, cool, helpful products for your skin. So yeah, the next is my Summer Fridays moisturizer. My favorite, all-time favorite daily moisturizer. This thing has changed my life and I will be repurchasing it after. It takes a lot for me to say that about a moisturizer that I'll repurchase it because I love trying new things, but this one is perfect for the daytime. I use a more rich like cream one at night to really like hydrate my skin, but this has been so nice to use in the daytime. Like I said, it's a Summer Fridays Cloud Dew Oil-Free Gel Cream and I love it so much. It looks like this on the inside if you can see that and see i'm almost done with it and oh, i love it so much it's just like a really creamy version of a gel moisturizer it's not like too thin it's really really has a lot of moisture and nourishes my skin and i put this on right before my spf and that's usually what i do for the day is i do that that and then a spray after of like a hydration spray which i'll get to both of those because those are my next favorites so for spf i've been loving this coco kind spf um spf 32 broad spectrum lotion and this one is just really nice it's creamy but it doesn't leave a white cast or like burn my eyes really and then i've been switching this one out with my elta md tinted one so whenever i don't want like a tinted one i'll just go with this one um and i love it so much so yeah and then also my apto turmeric mist it's so refreshing that's what it says refreshing cooling and energizing and i would say it does all those things i love turmeric in, in general see this and just has like a really fine mist and it just like it just like revitalizes me throughout the day i don't know what it is it just feels so good on my skin and um i love it so much it smells very good too so yeah last skincare product i almost forgot this is their um this is by the brand The Topicals. It's their faded cream, I wanna say it is. I don't know much about The Topicals. All I know is that they have two products. They have two like things like this and I bought the whole pack of them and I love both of them. So this one specifically is supposed to help like fading scars. Um, let's see, it has kojic acid and examic acid, melatonin, niacinamide, licorice root, and alicylic acid. I don't know how I'm saying that was right, but it really has been helping when I put it on consistently through the week, I do it like two, three times a week now I'm up to, um, and I put it all on my like chin, which is where I break out and stuff. And it has helped so much with fading the scars, but also like trying to keep acne away. I love this. They also have a mask one and I use it as like an overnight mask or you can use it as a moisturizer. Um, but I want to share this one specifically because right now is where I'm really like impressed with it because I've been seeing like a, a change in my skin. I don't know if you can buy it at Sephora. I want to say you can, um, but I bought it from their website after I got an ad for it and then I really really like it. I didn't know it has melatonin in it. I wonder what that does. And then I have just a few more makeup products that I want to share with you. I've already talked about this so much with you but it's the Say Tinted Moisturizer. It's their slip tint is what they call it. And on my skin right now and I just think it gives the best glow. This is like one of the best tinted moisturizers I've ever used and I have the shade 3. Um, I think they go by different numbers and stuff but this is their slip tint broad spectrum SPF 35 sunscreen tinted moisturizer. My favorite tinted moisturizer I've ever used because of the way that it makes my skin feel and look it does not dry up through the day it like keeps it moisturized and just like nice and fresh um which again because i have such dry skin it really, really been a game changer and i love the coverage it gives it's like i would say it's like medium but buildable uh tinted for a tinted moisturizer i would i would say it's not the most sheer tinted moisturizer which i like it does give you some coverage um and then another thing for skin would be this covergirl cg smoothers hydrating makeup um, I have the color buff beige and I this is empty Woo! it takes me a while to empty a product and I'm excited that I emptied this so yeah this is like again in conjunction with this it's kind of similar I would say um, but this one is a little bit more coverage I think um, but I love it so much I'm not usually too into covergirl foundations at least and this one I love I'm going to go buy this the next time I'm at Target um, but a good summer glow I don't know this just like really smooths over my skin so nicely for a foundation and I think it's like a foundation mixed with tinted moisturizer that's kind of like the vibe I get from it I don't know exactly what they say about it but yeah and then more on that like summer glow feel is this product this has been my holy grail product since I received it so this is Ali Oops stack the odds palette and this has been my favorite thing ever I use it basically every day on my skin and and I, here I want to show you it's so cool I love Ali Oop because first of all it's clean beauty second of all um, all of their products are very 
I don't, know, I don't know how to describe it. It's just like for on the go. It's very multi-purpose always and just easy to use. And there you can see how much I've used them. But this is the cream blush, cream bronzer, and then cream highlight, which all three are so nice. And I'm again, I'm wearing them on my skin. I wear them almost every day on my skin. And they just are so creamy, blendable. The most, the biggest thing is blendable, dry down so they don't like transfer throughout your skin the whole day. I don't know what they do to their products at Alley Oop. They've quickly become one of my favorite beauty lines. I know I'm always talking about them on Instagram um, and I love when I get to work with them because it's a brand that I really believe is amazing and deserves the hype. So I really love this product. This one is in the shade Sunkiss and I want to get their other color in it too. I think they have one, two more color palettes um, for that product. But then lastly for beauty is my Jason Wu Beauty. This is another clean beauty brand that I'm obsessed with lately that you guys always hear me talking about. The so Jason Wu Beauty, Good Night Mr. Wu, uh, Bedtime Story, it's like a lip mask. I would say it's like a dupe for the Laneige lip mask. It is $15 at Target, so it's only like, I wanna say six or $7 cheaper than the Laneige one, but this one comes with a lot of product. I like, I've used it quite a bit and that's all I've gone through. It's easy to grab and pick up at Target, so I like that about it too. Um, but I just thought I'd mention that because I've been using that every day, all day, and it makes my lips feel so good, so yeah. We have one home product and one snack, so I'll go with the snack first. Uh, you're an almond lover and also like a lover of spicy things or just sriracha in general These are the best things I've ever I've not heard anyone talk about them But I found them at Costco of all places love almonds because obviously they're tasty and nutritious But then when they have nice flavors on them It just makes them even better and again Costco find this thing lasts us so long and I'm gonna repurchase this Hopefully they don't go away at Costco, but uh, you know, we'll see I just love them so much and I highly recommend trying them if you're into spice or almonds Okay my last product is a home product and it's this mug, which I just have to share with you guys because it's so beautiful. And I think she has another drop coming up, um, but it's the Haddock Ceramic Checkered Mug. And I just love the shape of it. I love obviously the pattern. You guys know I'm obsessed with checkered. And then this is what the bottom looks like. And her ad on Instagram is at H Haddocks. Um, I'll link it down below. And like I said, I think she has another drop coming up, but they go really fast. So you have to like set a reminder and go grab it really quickly because that's what I did. And I finally made it because I and I tried like three other times, but I was too slow. So I'm so happy that I have it now to drink my, my hot lattes out of. I even drink cold out of it because I want to use all of my pretty mugs. So I've started like my ice drinks out of mugs so that I can use the cute ones. So yeah, I love that so much. And yeah, those are all the things I'm obsessed with right now. Let me know what you guys are obsessed with down below or in my DMs or anything like that. I'd love to hear any of your product recommendations or just recommendations in general. Um, and yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Bye.